fighting games. You know them, you love them, and chances are that if you're watching this video, you don't know how to play them. But that's okay, since your totally legitimate fighting game expert, Poke, is here to teach you just how exactly to learn fighting games. So let's start with step one, picking your game. With so many great fighting games out there nowadays, it can be pretty damn hard to pin down which fighting game you want to get into. But I found that picking your game based off of art style, approachability, active player count, and how many of your friends own the game can be a pretty good way to help choose which game you want to get into. But once you pick the game, it's time to boot it up and start step two, the tutorial. The tutorial in most fighting games is fairly simple to get through, as it aims to teach you as much as it can in a short span of time, that we can throw to the wolves as soon as possible. Although, you should keep in mind that if you picked a game like Guilty Gear Strive, it's probably best you learn just what exactly the UI elements represent, as well as the other mechanics in the game, as sometimes games won't opt in and tell you exactly what these things do. But once you spend some time in the tutorial and are pretty comfortable moving your way through the game, it's time for step 3, picking your character. Now this step was likely something you had in the back of your mind as you were picking which game to get, but once you've selected your character, it's time to head over to the training room. Here is where you'll probably spend the better half of an afternoon understanding your character, as you'll need to learn a sizable chunk of your character's moveset. Although, since you're just barely starting out, it's probably best for now that you just learn what each attack does and not focus on special attacks just yet. But once you feel comfortable enough using basic attacks, it's finally time you learn how to use special attacks. Now, depending on your character, special attacks can be a pretty daunting task as you went from going, oh yeah, no, this seems pretty simple, to what the fuck is a quarter circle? But don't worry, because for right now, we should just focus on special attacks that you like the most or find easiest to pull off. A personal goal you should probably set for yourself is to learn at least three special attacks. Once you do, it's plenty of time to go into step four, online matches. Now, even though fighting against actual people can be pretty scary, you just have to remember that you're new to the game and that you're still figuring things out. So it's okay if you lose a few matches, because what truly matters is just executing your moves. All right, so assuming you've played a few matches and got to the point where you feel like you're not button mashing anymore, trust me, this is an important step, it's finally time for step five, adding on to what you know. At this point, you've likely been executing the same three special attacks and basic moves over and over again, so it's about time you stuck on one new special attack. You're welcome to pick whichever move you find the flashiest or easiest, but personally, I like to go with the special attack that gives me the most trouble, as once I'm able to perform that, executing other moves becomes rather easy to do. So once you've picked your next special attack, it's time for step five, again. You're probably wondering why you're repeating step 5 again, and that's because the best way to learn new moves is by getting back out there and repeating the process. And that actually goes for both step 5 and 6, as from here on out, you should try and use the moves that you already know as much as possible alongside the new moves too. That way, once you're comfortable using a new attack, you can start learning another one until you've learned most or all of your character's attacks. But after you've learned all your character's special attacks, it's finally time for step 7, supers. These moves go by different names depending on what game you're playing, supers, ultimates, blockbusters, regardless, they all mean the same thing, which is an all-out attack that does an insane amount of damage to your opponent. Unfortunately though, in most fighting games, supers can only be activated if a meter is filled up or a condition is met, so it's best if you learn these moves over in the training room. It's best if you spend at least a good chunk of your time learning these moves, as supers can be the hardest moves to pull off for beginners. But once you've comfortable enough in your ability to pull off your character's supers, congrats, you just learned a fighting game. So get back out there and show them who's boss. Hey, it's okay. If you've made it this far into the video, first of all, thanks. I really appreciate it. But second, I do hope you found this video helpful in some way. I playing the process of this video on my personal fighting game, so it's understandable this video wasn't much help to everyone out there. But if this video was at least some help to you, feel free to let me know in the comments below. For now though, I hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Kill.